The primary threat on all service members' minds when they leave the security of their forward operating base or patrol base is improvised explosive devices. This tactic continues to be the enemy's number one method of engaging coalition forces who are conducting mounted or dismounted patrols. To help remove this threat from the battlefield, explosive ordnance disposal technicians are spread throughout the battle space. In the Sangam area of Helmand Province, Baker Company, 1st Battalion, 7th Marines, is responsible for patrolling the streets and eliminating insurgent activity. Supporting Baker Company in this mission are two two-man EOD teams from 1st Explosive Ordnance Disposal Company. Um, basically the main mission uh, as an EOD tech or as an EOD team um, is to mitigate uh, and dispose of um, explosive hazards uh, that are in the way hindering missions of the ground forces out here right now. The two-man EOD teams consist of one non-commissioned officer and one team leader. The teams support both the brown zone, which is a densely populated area with multiple compounds and structures, and the green zone, an area with heavy vegetation, and ensure explosive hazards are rendered safe. Uh, basically anything that's explosive that needs to be rendered safe obviously is going to fall within our job description. The teams are prepared to travel throughout their area of operations at a moment's notice to investigate, remove, or destroy any explosive hazard the infantry company may encounter. We'll, we'll support them um, as they need us, um, basically on call uh, throughout the day. Um, if, if they feel necessary or if we feel necessary, we will embed with them. Um, and go on routine patrols or uh, named operations. The unique skill set that these EOD non-commissioned officers and team leaders bring to the fight is critical to successful operations and has saved countless lives. If we did not have EOD, one, when we came across explosives, when we came across mines, when we came across IEDs, we would have to drive around them and they would stay there because we wouldn't be able to dismantle them. Two, I think they have a lot more civilian casualties uh, because without EOD, they would still be out there. So it allows us to do our job, allows us to get from one place to another, uh, and it's a great team effort. The EOD technicians enjoy the opportunity to work alongside one another in a combat zone. I get to serve with some of the, the finest Marines you'll ever meet, which are in the EOD community. And then uh, on top of that, you get supported by you know, some more of just outstanding Marines here in the infantry battalions and it's, it's truly a, a blessing to be able to call yourself an EOD tech. Reporting from Helmand Province, Afghanistan, I'm Sergeant John Jackson.